Hey guys, this is Nick and Noah from Beer and Bat Rips. We have Logan here with us today. Uh, what you may not know about us is Beer and Bat Rips is also our ITC team name, and Logan's mm-hmm. on our team. Yep. So today, instead of going into huge detail into chapter proof like all the millions of videos out there, we're going to talk about our ITC lists, how they changed. Not necessarily go too deep into it, but a lot of stuff dropped for us for our armies. So. For the most part, I play uh, Astro Militarum with an assassin, so I was a little sad about that. But <laughs> I'm not. The list I bring, you know, things went up and down. I think I gained anywhere from 5 to 12 points, to print, depending on which build I go, but nothing major. Your list was pretty solid, though. Yeah, it's, like, I think it's pretty fair. A lot of rumors didn't come true. Guardsmen didn't go up, which is awesome. Cultists went down. Great. If they had gone up, you would have had to make some hard decisions. The assassin would have been gone, yeah, real quick. Um, and stuff dropped, like last cannons dropped. That was nice for guards, 15 points instead of 20, especially on tank commanders. Um, but other than that, weverns went up, which they kind of should. 10 points, that's fair. They're still worth it. Bring them. Yeah, you said the <laughs> mortars went up a bunch, right? Mortars, they, yeah. that was back, you know, they write the stuff way before they printed mm-hmm. it. So the mortars did go up a lot, but still not bad if you're trying to fill out a brigade. I mean, a squad went from 33 to 45 points, which is a big increase, but when you can fill out all your heavies for 135, like, yeah. <laughs> well, it's I mean, not bad. It really kind of tells you when they wrote this, because, what, half a year ago at ITC yeah. tournaments? Mortars yeah. were in every single list. Yeah, with Imperium. Nine mortars yeah. all, everywhere we looked, so... Cheap way to fill out the brigade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and exactly. not bad against infantry. I mean, yeah. they're not horrible still, but probably worth it. But they did take a hit. Other than that, you know, Astropaths, which is kind of weird, went way down. Because everyone... <laughs> they're already them. the cheapest. Yeah, they ever. went from 26 to 15 points. So <laughs> huge everyone, savings. <laughs> yeah. But everyone running them is a fairly new... Like, I don't remember seeing people running Astropaths a while back. No, they're just, they're again a good elite choice if you're not going to go like invest points like Bulgrims or whatever well, for You like using time. that character that has the plus one to hit spell. Yeah. yeah, she's HQ. Yeah. Yeah, the, she's from Blackstone Fortress, the Aradia Medellin or whatever her name is. Yeah. But yeah, just, it's great. You know, cast on an eight, 12 inches, pick a friendly Astro Militarum unit, plus one to hit you. Uh, tank command. Yeah, it's anything. <laughs> anything you need. You you know, you really need that Weverin to do some damage, or even the Hydra, or whatever. Hitting on threes, pretty solid for guard. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think the points changes were fair. Uh, assassins were kind of a surprise, but I guess yeah. they're good. I can see them starting to be different point toss. Right, but you already they're not two all... command points. It's but well, no, I, I, I'm not saying yours. I, I'm saying like the sniper makes sense going up, but like there's no reason for a couple of those to go up. Yeah. Well, the reason they have to make them all the same points is because that you have to keep that amount of points in your mm-hmm. list to pay the two CP to pick whatever one you want. Yeah, or you just get taxed more. Or you just take yeah, 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 more more yeah. <laughs> But like. Or pay two CP and make them. It's so funny. Detachment. In the last year of us playing a bunch, you used to hate the sniper, and now it's all you bring. Uh, he's intimidating. It's more like, yeah, okay, he's a single die model. I hate single dice weapons. I hate them. But if you can get board control by just placing a little, you know, 95-point model somewhere, it's pretty convenient. Like, yeah, any character. Yeah, and I mean, twos and twos with infantry, you'll do some damage eventually. Or you can, you know, on a two up, spend a command point to do some mortal wounds to a monster or vehicle. That's it's handy. Only has the cheesiest stratagem ever: <laughs> kill a character, spin the CP to gain two CP. Well, that's all the assassins. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 great. it's so good. Warlord is <laughs> yeah, spend one, gain three, so you net two. It's nice. It's uh, yeah, for the command points you pay, like they can generate. Some, so and I'm you know I build a new Space Marine army so I'm sure you're happy to make me hide all my bubble characters oh yeah so or just the Calidus is always a solid choice against anyone because everyone's list has command points <laughs> so yeah I'm actually thankful you stopped bringing her <laughs> yeah I brought her against <laughs> Kit so the other day our uh, our other ITC team member and yeah I rolled a lot of four ups he was not happy about <laughs> it including on his last stratagem which made him not use it well especially Sorry, with. Kit. <laughs> Especially with Harlequins, like, 
Yeah. I won't go too far into my Harlequin list because Kit has his own channel all about Harlequin. It's called Ghost of the Webway. So make sure to go there. But yeah, stealing his CP or making him spend one extra. Yeah, it was, it was like three or four times. It was bad. But uh, yeah, overall, I think the guard changes were fair and I have no complaints about them at all. I'll quickly do Space Marines. They didn't change. So, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you know, everyone wanted my Chaplain Venerable Dread not to go up. He didn't. Yeah, the Leviathan. So, the Leviathan stayed the same, even though it's They're such amazing. cheese. Yeah, I just ordered one, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, he plays Grey Knights, Logan. Yeah. So, a lot of changes. A lot, a lot of, of changes. changes. Oh, a lot yeah. of changes. So, the Grandmaster and Nemesis Dreadnought, as I ran them in my list, had the Hammer and the Silencer and the Heavy Psy Cannon. And all that was 264 points, and it's now 229 points. Oh, so big drop. Especially three, three of them. That's yeah. A lot of points. Yeah. So they went way down. And also, I had brought two battalions, so it was three units of strike marines in each battalion with just regular swords, and each of them had a silencer. They were 107 points per squad, and now they're down to 86 points per oh, squad. Another Gosh. huge drop. And like, you and you want to spam those anyway so that you can have as many smites as possible. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and board control's good. They're tough. And they can also tough apparently points. deep strike and all that good stuff. So. Yeah. And, uh... What else went down? Any of your characters? Uh, none of the named characters went down. Yeah, they uh, it's pretty much the just, same. It's pretty much just Grandmaster and Nemesis Dread Knight. Which is uh, what everyone used anyway. Yeah, so yeah, the, yeah, for, <laughs> the Inceptors <laughs> went down by a little bit. They were 115 points for all their war gear and everything else. Now they're 100 points. Okay. Yeah, for five, so you have a reason to bring them. That's not that bad. Across the board, you're seeing pretty significant cuts. Yeah, my yeah. whole tournament Which is list, needed. <laughs> my whole tournament list that I have went down by 210 points. So, so what are your plans to fill the 210? So I'll probably just add another Grandmaster and Nemesis. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I've got that. I got another one in here that has just a heavy incinerator and a great sword. Did and the regular can... non Grandmaster version go down? Uh, to be honest, they're like garbage. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're only no what twenty. Five points more than the like for so, better invul, better web skill, better ballistic skill. So if I could have for him the same exactly as my monster. warlord guy, he's 179 points. Yeah. So I could, yeah, he went down too. So yeah. I'd probably just add a regular one to him and beef up my other grandmaster. So yeah, right, just more strike squads. So just more <laughs> more, or more strike squads. To bring all the characters. I'll think about buying so a bunch of razorbacks and just bring in two battalions with six strike squads and six razorback with twin last cannon because mm -hmm. yeah, I'm pretty sure razorbacks went down too. It's hard to bit. it's hard to bring vehicles and grand knights because they're the only thing that can't smite. Like, yeah, they're the, not smite. They're the only way that I get long range firepower. Things. That's true. So bring your dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts can smite. You bring another but, dreadnought. Yeah, I can do that too. They're solid. Yeah, I was. I remember playing you and making you look up the rules because I was like, "There's no way they can smite. Yeah. Like only librarian dreadnoughts from Blood Angels can smite." And it's like, nope. <laughs> it, I, before you had the point drop, I thought your list was really good. It was solid for pure gray knights for sure. Yeah, which is not the easiest thing. And every time I faced Ashmore Terran, though, I could not do the same thing. <laughs> well, I, I would think, get killed before I, I would. I think basing the whole list around. The deep strike charge is very difficult. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you actually it's, had it's a real successful hard. one when we played. What, like your first four of seven charges? Oh yeah, just didn't even yeah. need to reroll. That was just the first time. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. I mean, I, the other three failed. But. Playing you enough times is the so, whole reason I my space marine list has plus four inches to their charge. Yeah, well, but there ain't no way for me I'm, to get that until we are right, right. awakening. <laughs> so, well, and, and I don't yeah. even I don't even deep track them. I'm just running up the field. I want to make yeah. sure I never fail. Because honestly, in my opinion, shooting's so much stronger than combat that the fact you have to get across the field while being shot, and then you still have a chance to fail your charge. Mm -hmm. And you get just shot shooting. When you try. Yeah, yeah. it just yeah. shooting so much better. So I'm like, if I'm gonna build a oh, yeah. combat space marine army, which I did, which I won't use in tournaments, um, I was like, I gotta find a way to add like plus four to my charge ranges. I played Chaplain, Goldman, Phobos, Warlord trait. It all Ooh. stacks. Like, it's nasty. I played three Grandmasters in Nemesis Dreadnought Armor a couple weeks ago against Nova's Ultramarines and all of his Hellblasters, and he killed almost all three of them on my turn. Yeah, they yeah, came out of uh, Deep Strike. Yeah, one Deep Strike and died. The other one charged and died. And the other one got killed. The other one got killed by his other guys dying. Oh, yeah. Other, yeah. <laughs> you well, bring the banner. <laughs> oh. They didn't give yeah. you better stats. They just dropped your points. They just dropped, yeah. they just dropped yeah. my yeah. points, but still. <laughs> it was. Gruesome. Yeah. There's some things in Warhammer for sure that 
kind of need an actual war scroll update instead of point drops. Because I've, I've, I've heard, yeah, yeah, I've heard some arguments that if everyone drops, then no one drops really. Pretty much. Yeah. But since Space Marines didn't, that does at least yeah. help. Some things Space went Marines. up, like Eldari flyers went up. Yeah. A little, little not little the tweet. ones he uses. Not the one I use. No. Him <laughs> no. walks stayed the same. Yes, that's pretty much the main thing. And a couple red guard. Yeah, the upgrades. I got a whole like wraith army that I play with, and the a ten pack of wraith guards went from five hundred or four hundred and thirty points to three hundred and seventy. So they yeah. dropped like five points a model just because the D size got cheaper. Just solid, I mean, but they're fun. They'll be painted. And those are the ones you run. And those are the ones I ran. So, so yeah. Yeah. Um, in terms of my main ITC list, I made out. I made out really well. Admech had drops all over, and they're already winning most of our local tournaments. Yeah, they're very. Um, Admech they're is very be. good, and they dropped. They dropped the Neutron Laser Doom Crawler. They dropped the Icarus Icarus Doom Crawler. Um, they dropped Breachers, which no one was really using. It's the. Uh, it's like the grab cannon. Right. Game. For the grab cannons are okay, but yeah, but they don't have grab amp like space marines. The plasma so is just best. There. Yeah, plasma is better than the plasma. And arguably one of the best models in the whole game, the Scorpius disintegrator didn't go to, didn't go up like people were hoping, which is nice. Um, which <laughs> means you. next year it will go way up. But my characters that buff them all dropped big time, which I feel like most Weird. people's armies their characters dropped. I mean, yeah, yeah, unnamed ones. Yeah, unnamed yeah. ones. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, Belisarius is still 190. I was hoping he'd, <laughs> I was, I was hoping he'd drop because, I mean, yes, he kind of started the whole trend of reroll all your dice without having to worry about modifiers. But it's right. only in the shooting phase. Yes. So when, mm-hmm. when people charge me and I'm ready to Overwatch, unlike Space Marines who get to reroll in every phase, it just says shooting phase. So that's why I was kind of hoping he'd drop a little bit in points. Yeah. But. He's such a force multiplier by affecting the canticles. That changes a little bit too. The canticles only work if your entire army is admech. So the second I add Man, no a more Vindicare suit. assassin. It's just like the doctrines, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if I add an assassin, I lose that. If I add a, a knight, I lose that. Which I was real happy Astro Militarum avoided that. Yes. Yeah. You got an old enough codex. And mixed regiments, you know. I bring um, four tank commanders because I'm that guy. The one I'm most excited about. My Tyranid army. <laughs> so I have a gunline monster mash Tyranid army, which is unheard of. But I basically run all Exocrine, Tyrant Effects, and Balanthrope. And then they came out, and basically that's all that dropped in Tyranids. So my list, the point difference is a Moloch. So I'm adding a Moloch. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, a little more board control. Yeah. Just something fun. My bugs don't move at all. Because if they move, they lose half their shots. Um... So the Exocrines and the Tyrant Effects it sits still. Um, so usually just Death Leaper is the only thing <laughs> going popping up on the other side of the field. So now it'll be Death Leaper and a Moloch. Molochs are not very good. They pop up and do like a little smite on everyone around them. And then but everyone gets scared. Yeah, <laughs> just having a T7-12 wound 2-up save model because I'm Jormungandr, which is the plus one cover as long as I don't advance or charge, which you can't charge with a Moloch after he pops up. So we just go, surprise, 12 wounds, 2 up save, 7 toughness. It may force people to deal with him instead of shooting my gun bugs, so it should help. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to... More points it's, it's, more points. It's awesome. I get to add a Moloch. I mean, it's awesome for GW, too, because I get to add a $50 model. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not stupid. Most things go down. I buy a book to tell me to buy a model. I'm not going to complain. I love GW. <laughs> yeah, they're great. But, uh, yeah, that's those are my main ones. Um, Demons went way down. The Zinch. Yeah. Plague Bearers went up, but I think they were, like, one of the only things, which is... Because they're the only thing people were using in tournaments. Yeah. So it makes yeah. sense. You saw them a lot. Um, Chaos Soup. My bird. You have a bird as well. The yeah, great bird. The Lord, Lord of Change dropped, which is awesome. They actually what made them the to? same 250. 250? And Rodigus uh, is 250 now, which I'm happy about because I just painted him up. So, uh, But they actually made the Lord of Change the same price as the named Lord of Change. Hmm. Oh, uh, Kairos. Yeah. So I don't know. If you take Kairos, you get free command points. 
He's better at casting spells. Yeah, but if you take regular Lord of Change and give him the impossible road right. and that minus one damage, a lot more a lot survives. More it. So Other I, than that, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same besides the staff's a little different. I think the Lord of Change hits better in combat. Oh. So, yeah. So, I, I actually run him as a base because of that exact reason. Uh, yeah. Three up in is too good on a giant monster. So, I gotta, gotta go impossible robes. Um, not too much of a change. Uh, my. Necron, Satan, for fun army, it's not a tournament. Um, all the Satan drop, big time. Yeah. So at least it'll be fun. Bring some more Star Gods. Yeah, that'll table. be cool. They look um, good. Oh. The big Tesseract balls didn't change, so they're still like 500 plus points. Still not really worth bringing. A little rough. But I, think, cool I think it's because like years ago, people would bring triple Tesseract balls to like Las Vegas Open and actually do well. Mm-hmm. So they... Well, they put out the, they they have have the shots, don't they? Well, yeah. yeah it's... it's a, Thing and mortal wounds and they do like three different mortal wound based spells that you can't stop. So yeah, that spells. alone, that alone yeah. is pretty good. And then twenty strength, seven shots that have the Tesla exploding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's but, for but it's five hundred points exactly, and it's the old wording. So it's six pluses explode. So all someone has to be is like Eldar for minus one to hit, and you can't have exploding sixes. Mm-hmm. So Necrons desperately need a new book. Um, well, the six yeah. plus to hit Necrons either will like it or they'll hate it because their mortals right. also have the Tesla thing that as someone might will be done as someone like one of the only Necron players who runs Goss Blasters instead of Tesla among yeah. mortals <laughs> I want it to just go to the normal wording <laughs> where it's unmodified sixes explode um, I'm slow building a Space Wolf army they dropped all their characters dropped like crazy which is cool because I like Hero Hammer with Space Marines it's the only reason I really play Space Marines just probably good storm there. shields and pretty fun. whack-a-mole guys gonna get on the table, um, and I'm also a big fan of Primaris, so I'm waiting for Ragnar Blackmane to get turned into Primaris. That's kind of what I'm waiting for with Space Wolves. So um, you might get Blood Angels soon. Yeah, I don't know if they drop much, but they got uh, um, the characters that, went up. With I know that that new Blood of Ball book or whatever that came out is. They gained. They gained an extra attack on turn three. And well, and they gained the actual uh, what Space Marines get. And they got they got the doctrine. The doctrine. Yep. So, which means Space Wolves will get them, and Dark Angels will get them. Yeah. 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 I think they changed the Red Thirst to all you always give you another attack. And maybe Grey Knights. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. You should get them. Why not? I, th- I think I. I don't know. I hope Grey Knights get the doctrines whenever I'm pretty sure they come in the ritual of the damn book is the next one, and I think it's Grey Knights. Well, and they even gave. They even gave Blood Angel minus one on all the storm vultures. Yeah. They even gave special rules for Blood Angel successors, like Flesh Terrors got their own special rule, mm. where instead of an extra attack on turn three, they get um, an extra rend on turn three or AP. So that's not bad. No. Um, considering turn three is when you already get it, and it stacks with the yeah. one. So now everyone's plus two to their AP in combat. So that's pretty good, especially if you're running like Reavers with plus two and five attacks each. Um, and they got Eat them up. Blood Angels are getting uh, Death Company Primaris. So yeah, pretty cool. No melee weapons for them, though, unfortunately. No, just buckets of dice. It should have been Reavers, so it had an even more attacks. Yeah. Um, Would have been silly. <laughs> well, if you're not going to have AP, you might as well have a ton of attacks. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much covered it. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other <laughs> too many armies. Uh, Chaos Knights. Chaos Knights dropped. Yeah. The Combat Knight dropped, but the Imperial Combat Knight went up. Yeah, people are like complaining reason. online about it. It's just like, huh? and it, I think Imperial Knight players are expecting the thermal cannons to even out with Imperial Knight players, but Chaos Knights still get them cheaper, um, which is awesome. Yeah, dual wielding thermals. It's a pretty new codex, I guess. Uh, yeah, I used to run my knights as, as one as one or the other, depending the on the day. Yeah. But I, I, my knight collection is is Chaos Knights now. I, <laughs> I'm gonna start putting spikes on them and skulls yeah. and stuff, chains and stuff. Yours can be Imperial Knights. Oh yeah, <laughs> good and evil. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was kind of personally hoping, for selfish reasons, that Magnus and Mortarion would go down because they just die. They just die right away um, every time I bring them. Like if I bring both, Magnus just gets Alpha Struck. Um, yeah. I they think they need. Yeah. Then they need a drop, or I, really, what I really think they need is T8. Both of them. Mortarion definitely. Because the great unclean ones aren't T8 either, are they? They're T7. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, I think they should be tougher. Number. 
Some yeah, that's, that's, that's probably it. Yeah, 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 that's actually, that's actually <laughs> probably it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, um, the Magnus needs to be T9. I'm pretty sure Zinch's number's 9, ain't it? That's true. Oh, That'd be yeah. crazy. That'd be um, yeah, we'll be stupid. I mean, they did gain attacks recently, which is great. Yeah. yeah. But they were already, like, killing anything they touched anyway, so gaining an attack didn't really matter. Just kind of ensures that. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Saves you from bad rolling. Lord of Skulls dropped 65 points, which I'm very excited about. Um, I'm going to add one to my Chaos Knights very yeah. soon. Not excited <laughs> about it. So it was already like better than a knight. Yeah. No one knew about it. No one uses them for some reason. They're, They're awesome. Huge. They're mm-hmm. awesome. Why? Um, they were a lot of points, but like I thought they were better than like a Valiant with the Flamer. Like, oh, yeah. Because yeah. it has its own Flamer that's damaged through. The more you hurt it, the better it gets. It's the opposite of knights. Yeah. <laughs> Does anything go... Bad on that whenever it gets hurt. Uh, uh, move or anything. Movement. movement. Yeah, like, one thing. like it's funny because its best bracket for killing knights in combat is its middle bracket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it goes down strength? to strength. It goes from strength twenty to strength ten yeah. in the middle bracket, or strength sixteen. It goes yeah. sixteen. So it goes from strength ten down to strength eight, and its weapon times two. So you're still winning knights on twos, but you gain like three attacks in the middle yeah. bracket or something. Oh stupid. wow! Okay. So and your like like weapon skill thirty six damage. Down. You know, yeah. like just like it's nothing. And then the bottom I'm bracket is down to strength five, which times two. So it's strength still ten, wounding knights on three. But it's up to a ridiculous amount, and like it gains an attack attacks. because it's heretic Astartes. Yes. So it's it has so many attacks now, and it heals itself, and it has a five up in ball. So and dropping sixty five points just kind of tells me that. They looked around and no one was using them. And it's not a demon cost hundred bucks, so they're like, we need to demon engine. It's a demon engine. Mm-hmm. Well, so it's not. It's, so it's in turn. like the space marine chaos space marine. Yeah, it's not forge world. It's an actual. Yeah, space it's in the chaos space marine world. book, so it's mm-hmm. not in the demon book. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so you can't run a supreme command detachment with the Lord Skulls and three bloodthirsters. No, that'd be no, cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> or Scarbrand. Or yeah, Scarbrand and his buddies. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but what? Yeah, I'm just happy to have him as a. Auxiliary Supreme Command or Auxiliary Super Heavy just to yeah. pull with my Chaos Knights. Um, basically, I'm gonna swap Mortarion in that list out with more <laughs> yeah. skulls, better go. shooting. Um, Probably way tougher. And, uh, mm. Debatable, yeah. I mean, he still logs in the wall, right? Wounds, he heals, but like with Haywire everywhere, it's yeah, true. Mortarion's yeah. usually better. Um, Does he count as a vehicle? Yeah, he's got vehicle oh, too. Okay. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, he'll just get melted by Haywire. Yeah. Um, and the Haywire bikes went down for Harlequins. Which makes sense for pure Harlequins because they needed a lot of help. Yeah. But the only time you see those bikes is in Eldari Soup at like the top tables at tournaments. Right. So it just helped the top the top Eldari lists, basically. Yeah. Their flyers went up in the soup list. So I just I am surprised you don't run Harlequin Haywire bikes and your your uh what are your flamer flyers? The, the Hemlock, Hemlock, Hemlock yeah. Wraith Fighters. So good. Yeah. I don't know. I just, um, I just I like, like all the Wraith guys. Hard to kill. Yeah, yeah. they're tough. They're, they're so good. I do like the new missions a lot. Uh, I, we haven't played any yet, but they brought back two old ones from, I think, Chapter Proof 2017. Same names and everything? I think so, yeah. yeah. There were some, like four pillars and something else. They have two ones that are kind of a hodgepodge of previous missions, which is cool. They had some solid ones, and then two brand new ones for Eternal War. And then I really like how they reformatted uh, Maelstrom. It's build your own deck, you get 18 cards uh, after you see your opponent, and then uh, they give you, I think, three stratagems that each player gets access to, and it helps you manipulate, manipulate your deck. You either put some discards back, you get to arrange the order of the top three, stuff like that, redraw your hand. If yeah, I saw the one where you you draw three cards and your opponent gets to put one back. Yeah, well, awesome. yeah, and mm-hmm. then each so cool. mission, because they have the standard format of how your cards work, each mission kind of affects the like hand, because normally you get a hand of five, and then you activate three, you put like three into play, and one has to can be, I guess it doesn't have to be, but can be face down, and the other two have to be face up so your opponent knows. And then some missions affect that, where like you get to flip stuff, you get to discard, you get to pick one, and if they achieve, your opponent achieves that one, it's like worth double or something. Oh, like, that's cool. It, there's some fun little twists, and it should make for a lot of more standard Maelstorm play, where you're not getting these huge lopsided games, which was kind of 
at the beginning few editions of Maelstrom its biggest problem. I think. Probably still won't work for like tournaments. No, it's balance, it's too but... random for a like tournament that's going for you know trying to equal the playing field. But if you wanted to go to a fun Maelstrom tournament, yeah, if you know what you're getting into, it would be cool. Yeah. Sure. But, less less of a buy in. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. Just having fun. You know, or like a donation. Charity yeah, still a charity then. Perfect. I've never played Maelstrom. Oh, it's fun. It's silly. And now that you get to choose, it's a little more mainstream because you're never going to have an objective you cannot achieve. I mean, I think it makes sense. Uh, card <laughs> games outsell Warhammer like yeah. in general, like Magic the Gathering. So, like, I could totally see Ninth Edition coming around where they incorporate cards all the time. Right. Like, like a war scroll that also has a card attached to it and kind of mixed dice and cards. It's a good money maker. So yeah, could see yeah. it. Oh, I've only played eighth edition, so like I know like they got like the stratagem cards. You know what I mean? But you don't actually yeah. need the cards to use a stratagem. Well, that comes right. but, in all the same package. It gives you all your maelstrom cards, all your stratagems, all your spells, all oh. your. Uh, it's like a huge. It's they're like twelve. So like the box of Granite cards that I bought, they have the maelstrom cards in there. Yes. Yeah, I just I yes. just took out all the stratagems. And, <laughs> right. and, and so, so I, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so I didn't know what the other ones were. So for ALS, there's a small skirmish game called uh, Underworld. Underworld okay. and every like little box of like it's like a little like five war war band of five models mm -hmm. they come with actual cards with all their stats and what their abilities are mm -hmm. and you actually use that in the game so you have like your model and the card and like so they use like a special of, attack or something like yeah, that yeah so it's oh, kind cool. of like a card game and you still roll dice and have models so mm -hmm. if that picks up hey man if we can get some of those card players to start playing Warhammer I'd be yeah fine with it so. <laughs> And now we're brainstorming ninth edition over here. I hope ninth edition yeah. never comes. Actually, I think yeah. ninth edition is so amazing. It is solid, and they just need to keep updating it. I heard all the other editions were horrible. <laughs> they <laughs> well, just yeah, we're getting broke. I just heard. I just kept hearing bad things about like seventh edition. Yeah, we don't talk very. Right. We don't like to talk about seventh yeah. edition with his mm -hmm. ten free drop pods or ten ten free oh, razorbacks. I bring a twenty five hundred <laughs> point list to a two thousand point yeah, tournament. No big deal because I can. That yeah. was dumb. What was bad about seventh was that. They told you exactly what models to buy, and if you bought those models, you get these bonuses. Yeah. So oh. they have like, what they called formations. Right. So it was like you have to bring exactly this, and it does this, and it's awesome. Like ALS. <laughs> ALS has formations. <laughs> ALS. Is like, they're not, yeah. They're not bring quite these as, exact models, and you get these the benefits. Bonuses. But they're like, not quite as game breaking. Well, an ALS does it better because you get all these bonuses, but you have to pay points. Oh yeah. For that formation. The formations yeah. were free. Or, or battalion. So. Formation no, they were they were free in 7th and 6th. Yeah, the battalions are mm -hmm. points. Some no, of them might be No, free. they give you command points. No, Not no, command no. points. Po actual oh, points. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like 100 points. points you know? yeah. So I like... Get, actual points. But in 6th yeah. edition and 7th edition, oh, you points. just got those bonuses for free. Just yeah, by so. buying the models they wanted you to buy, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So like you could figure out the models that didn't sell well were going to get an amazing formation in the next update. You know, so like... <laughs> Eighth is better. It's but probably the only time jump pack marines, assault marines, have been amazing. Yeah. Because they were one of the few units that could deep strike and charge, and you got to reroll, and they well, you used to get like, like hammer morale. wrath hits and stuff yeah, too. Yeah, they caused like morale shenanigans and the sky hammer annihilation force. It was great. Oh god. Well, we don't want that to come back. <laughs> the, well, I think the only thing I don't like, I mean, don't like, I understand it, but about eighth edition is no null deployment. Oh, yeah, you used I to have yeah, seven drop that. pods, and there's no way I'm going to ever feel that many. Because I mean, they, they still come to You can do that now, right? They did drop in points a little bit. They're down to 65. But, like, so you can actually bring... No one on the board. No one on the board. Deep strike half your army or whatever. Because they come or bring enough drop pods for well, all. No, because you have to deploy half your army. Oh, that, they no, changed that, that rule just for drop pods. I think they changed oh, that rule just for uh, drop pods, so you can actually null deploy okay. your army. So you might try that soon. Yeah, you might see it soon in a battle. Or they may change it in an <laughs> FAQ. I know Drop Pod's got some sort of FAQ. Like they can't stay there. Like they have to come in by turn three oh, or yeah. something like that. But I don't know what else to change the FAQ on these Drop Pods. Yeah. So. They're not too know. great one way or the other. They all cost they a lot more than they used to. What, they used to be 35 points? They like used Rhinos to be 35 in 7th and they were stupid good. But now they just have gotten progressively better from the crappy state they put them in. The other thing I really don't get about drop pods that they did for, I can't figure out the reason, was they used to be able to hold 12 models, so you could bring a character or a character in Terminator armor with your squad, and they dropped it to 10. And I really don't get that. I think they just expect people to go MSU now, five-man squads or whatever. 
Well, okay. right, but like, what's the? I don't yeah. know. It was I just mean, weird. It was a, one of those curveballs, but that's eighth edition. Yeah, we could get into a whole yeah. talk about whether or not GW is eventually going to phase out non primaris Right. Because it, it feels that way. Did they do a good job? No. I think yes. They. Yeah. I think we they did a good job in chapter. We didn't get into all the characters on bikes that they cut. Yeah, that including was... all the chaos characters on bikes. They're all gone too. So. Yeah. Um, they're definitely going to sell us some kind of Primaris bike here pretty soon. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, Primaris uh, Jet Bikes 2020. But but why would they cut the Chaos guys on bikes? That's what I'm wondering. So they're going to steal that tech and start making Chaos I know a bunch Primaris. Of, I know a bunch of work units were in the Index. I don't know what ones they got rid of and what ones they kept, but a lot of them were Index I think a lot of the characters. named guys, the weird, like, not mm-hmm. the big named guys, but, like, uh, all the little elite. Named guy, like mm-hmm. there was a jump pack named guy, and some mm-hmm. some other stuff from when I used to play them. But yeah, at first really? I was like, it's because mm-hmm. people riding on motorcycles in the middle of a war is really stupid. But then I was like, oh yeah, they did that in World War Two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They actually had the little like bikes with the sidecars. Yeah, but uh, so it's as stupid as cavalry in forty k. Yeah, that's the no one does that. <laughs> the rough riders, the I know. Riders. The yeah. guard do that. <laughs> they do. <laughs> The Talar yeah. right? guys. Yeah. And Don't do that. Cyber. They're, they're not really yeah, they're all right, but If you want to fill out a fast attack choice and have fun and not pay the least amount of points, bring Rough Riders. Sure, they can Ryan out, do that at a tournament. They can outflank. They have a yeah. little bit of board control, but like you point a Laz gun or two at them and they fall down. Yes, they should. It's like. Uh, you brought a horse. On a horse. <laughs> you, brought a, you brought a horse to the year forty thousand, man. Would you, would you the do? way it's I like think a Civil War. People went through the warp and ended up in a total battlefield. <laughs> the way I picture the weapons in 40k is a heavy stubber, just the three strength, four shots, is like a 50 cal in today's warfare, which yeah. is like the strongest machine gun you can get. So if you go up from there, yes, yeah. you should tear apart a horse or yeah. a regular guardsman or with any weapon you point at it. Yeah. And the then guardsmen are still the best. Guardsmen the still, best. still just shoot uh, the little. Red lasers from Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Little pew pew. Little bang bang. We don't hit anything, and when we do, it doesn't hurt. Stormtroopers. Yeah. But, uh. It'd be a fun pants game. But they can sprint <laughs> 20 inches a turn. It's oh. so ridiculous. I've lost so many games because of one dude going, we give myself a command twice or whatever, and do, do, do. go 17 inches Where across we the board. You know, all that were fast. Company commanders are fast. It's like minimum 17 inches or something. Right? 14. Minimum 14. If you roll halfway decent, you're getting 17 or 18 inches yeah. out of them in one turn. So good. Yeah, you can go take objectives. Or troops, if they're close enough to a troop. I mean, when the rumors said yeah. that your guardsmen were going to go up a point, I was like, that makes sense. Yeah, they were <laughs> really good. But they didn't, so. Bring 90 of them. You'll have a good time. Well, and there was a rumor right before these dropped that they were going up one point. And the tank commanders are going up 20 points. Yeah, instead, nothing. nothing. <laughs> and Lehman <laughs> Russ chassis went down and last oh, game. So went good. Down. So good. Yeah, my, my list, it Maybe basically the stayed back. the same. Maybe the guard will come back to the top list at ITC tournaments. I think there have always been one of the more solid, pure mono lists if you're not going to do soup. They're so flexible mm-hmm. and they're so efficient if you run tank command. Yeah, and the Vigilist just made them stupid. Like a Weverin firing twice, uh, or Basilisk if you want, but Weverin firing Hydra twice. Hydra firing twice is what's been killing me. 16 anti-air shots at 2 damage each. Yeah, that that's a good Three one rolling. too. Oh. Yeah, f- Hydras are great. Yeah. Just bring one. I know hitting on 5 sounds like it sucks, but sometimes it doesn't. Against ground targets. Yeah. And then you play someone with stuff that flies, boom. Kill Speaking of works. Logan just got a giant orc har- army. Yeah. So uh, I got two armies some so far on the way. Yeah, in the mail. That's... They'll be on the board sometime <laughs> soon. <laughs> our, historically, our ITC record against orcs is not great, so we need a lot of practice. So I'm glad you're getting orcs, actually. Yeah. yeah. We need a lot of practice. The board is orcs. rough. Yeah. Um, Although... I've never played with or against them, so I'm excited. Yeah. So yeah. this is perfect. Uh, so hopefully. Some of it looks painted. So yeah, most of the vehicles and stuff that came with it were painted. So and I think some of the boys were... A lot of them had at least some paint. So yeah, a lot of them were kit bashes. To get up to standards. Yeah, a lot so of them were kit bash vehicles. You hordes of orc fans. We'll get them on a battle report pretty soon. Yeah. Maybe a classic, like, Asha Militarum versus orcs. Yeah, uh, a small game. Yeah. You need to get to painting. Or ultramarines and orcs. That'd be perfect. Or some imperial soup. Yeah, it's totally good. Get, get a night out there. See if we get swarmed. <laughs> But uh, anyway, 
nice quick recap. Uh, not going to go deep in every army, but that's our armies and how it affects them. Um, Which are the important ones. Yes, exactly. That's the important ones. Matter. They're the only ones that matter. <laughs> I'm going to try not to collect every single army between the three of us. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't have all of them, but we're getting, we're getting close. I don't know if any of us want or plan on getting sisters. I don't know. I don't know. I'd, like, I'd like to get sisters. They go well with your gray knights. I'll probably wait problem. until most of it gets on eBay when people yeah. start buying the stuff and realize they've got the money for, for it and then they got to sell it on yeah. eBay. Get yeah. the box for 120 instead of 220 Yeah, or whatever. I'd like to someday. But we'll see. Well, let's see. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we have I have three different battle reports that I'm editing right now, so we'll have some battle reports up really soon. Yeah. Um, but we've got, it's a kill team one and an AOS one and a 40k one, so lots of variety. Um, thanks for tuning in and like, subscribe, go to go to the webway for Harlequin player. All the above. But uh, <laughs> yes, press the little bell. There you go. Yeah, do yeah, it. Do what he says. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah.